Well, guys, I'm back. Just simple as that. Left y'all just as I returned. You know, a lot of things happened. A lot of things transpired. I'm in a new apartment. You know what I'm saying? Got a better view. Let me show y'all. Ugh, look at that, look at that. Yes, yeah, sir, look at that. But, um, you know, bless us, bless us. We got blessed with something like that. Um, came from a little turmoil because my apartment ended up getting flooded to the point I couldn't live in no more. So they ended up saying, now oh, you can either switch apartments and move out. I was like, shit, I just switch apartments because I'm not trying to move in with my mom again. Fuck that. I like living on my own. And especially if it's not my fault. So, yeah, let me clean this up a little bit. That's the case right now. We chilling there. Um, currently, you know, smoking hella weed still. Watching hella UFC. Your boy uh, moving up in his work job, his job. You feel me? They um, I'm I'm gonna get in a supervisor position, which is pretty cool. Making hella bread too. You know, blesses, blesses. But I did tell y'all, I was returning US before UFC 300. But see, I didn't know how I was gonna return. I didn't know how I was gonna make this emphatic statement of saying what's up to y'all boys. And you know what? Today, we're gonna talk about what you should tell a chick when you live on your own. And you know what you need to tell her? You have roaches. Hey, 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 Jaylee, Jaylee. Why should I, why should I tell a chick that I have roaches? Then don't I want a chick to come over? Yes, you want a chick to come over. However, you don't want her to come over and stay. Cause see, when you open that door to that vampire, if you understand the quote, when you let that vampire in, that's when they kill. But if they're on the outside of that door on the other side looking good, then you're good. I tell every chick, I got roaches. My house is like a trap. I live in the trenches. Y'all just seen the view. It ain't, it's kind of hard. I live in the trenches with a view like that. Most of the time, they be back then looking, at like, looking in other apartments like a jail cell, like O Block. But that's not the case. But tell her that. Tell her that, you know what I'm saying? She not going to want shit from you, but whatever you got. And that's either dick or drugs. You provide that to her and let her go on her way. See, the roach is not the main problem here. The biggest problem is honesty. We we try to put a front where we where we try to save up enough money to where we can bring a girl in and you know have her live in this homestead lifestyle. And then all of a sudden our pockets get drained empty and we look at her as if it's her fault. When we signed up for it. See, fellas, fellas. You think you want a girlfriend living with you, then you get that. And then you think, you know, you want to be like, I don't want a feminist girlfriend. I want her to go out and work. I mean, I don't want a feminist girlfriend. I want her to go in the house and just take care of the kids. Brother, guess what? Before y'all have kids, she's just going to be sitting around the house. Sorry to tell you, brother. Unless y'all are actively having kids or making it, she either needs a part-time job or needs to find a career. Because up until then... Brother, she is just wasting away and waiting for a uh, captain to save a whole life, you to save her. You're not here to save. So tell that bitch you got roaches crawling up the wall, crawling through the walls. The only t place the roaches don't touch is your bed and your furniture. That's where she can feel comfortable. That's how you break it down. And for chicks, tell a nigga you got ants. Niggas don't like ants. Niggas is scared of getting bit by ants more than getting crawled on by a roach. So chicks, be like, hey. I would let you come over, but I got hella ants. I don't know how you'll feel about that. Ugh, man, what? Fuck. What, you got food on the ground? The fuck? See, roaches, roaches, they come out regardless because roaches need a home to, to, to lay their head. And they just like warmth. They like, you know, just even water makes them come out. But ants, bro, ants, you really, you, you really making yourself seem like that type of chick or dude that like, as soon as you finish eating your sunflower seeds, you throwing them on the carpet. We don't need niggas like you. We don't need niggas like you. Tell that chick you got roaches. And tell her the roaches don't even touch the kitchen, even though everybody know who's had roaches in their life. Don't act like you never had a roach in your motherfucking life. Because I'll smack the shit out of you two times with the left and the right nut. No homo, no diddy, all that included. Shout out to Diddy. Free Diddy, man. We're going to make another video on that. Fuck is you talking about? Tell that hoe you got roaches, man. And tell that nigga you got ants. No, no, no. If, if a girl want a dude not to fuck with her... Tell that dude you got cats on my soul. You tell that dude you got cats, he know your pussy funky. He know your feet stain. Simple. 
You got cats? Oh, yeah, we know you on some weird shit. Chicks with dogs? Eh. They kind of treat that dog like a kid. But chicks with cats, they like cats because they, like, they really cannot really care for them unless they want to. And, like, bro, don't mess with that. The way they take care of they, that cat is the way they take care of that cat. If they ain't washing their cat, they ain't washing their cat. You dig what I'm saying? But yeah, we were turning back on YouTube in a very positive way. I don't, I wanted to like fade away from just covering MMA and just giving y'all talking points because I feel like I could be a good motivational speaker, help give y'all good knowledge on what to trust, what not to trust in this world, just because I'm going through this world with y'all. Hey, I'm 22 years old for the turn 23 soon. Y'all probably around my age or hella older because shout out to my old white dudes that watch the channel, W y'all, because that's like my biggest demographic. And then shout out to everybody else, my young niggas, W um, all around the world. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start posting more one take videos because really, like this is this is really what niggas need to see. Niggas need to see me just straight up whipping out the camera and just talking to y'all. Cause let's be real, we all are going through the same struggle. We all want to give a chick the world, knowing damn well we can't even give ourselves the world. Nigga, we all broke in our own way. If everybody that watch me is rich as fuck, then don't watch me. Cause this is for the real niggas who's chat to chat living. This is for the real niggas who's trying to get their bread up, who's trying to find a perfect wife and kids while in a hard economy to where you can't even buy a house unless you win a million dollars, nigga. Uh, unless you go out there and become a fucking athlete. You know what I'm saying? This is for them niggas. This ain't for you 15-year-old little niggas who never had a job in your life, who never seen your parents struggle to pay a bill, who never seen niggas, look, niggas leaning over like this, niggas, niggas sending their kids out to work to pay their rent. Nigga, I'm talking for them, because guess what? Them niggas got to have a real-life conversation with themselves and understand that. Guess what? You got to thug this shit out to you. You got to thug it out, nigga. Keep thugging it out, because guess what? When you tell that chick you got roaches, you know what that's going to make her do? Either look down on you or respect you for telling her. And if she look down on you, fuck that hoe. And if she respect you for telling her, she's solid. You know what happened when I told one chick that? I was like, I got roaches. You can't come over to my spot. She was like, but what if I have them? I was like, ooh, I like that. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, Shawty, Shawty gave me one of them like warm feelings in my heart where it was like, Shawty know about the trenches. You want a Shawty that know a little bit about the trenches and know a little bit about the struggle enough to where at least she wants stability too. To where she's like, all right, I'm going to make this ability regardless of you or me. Don't get a chick who's living with her mama. Don't get a chick who's, who, who always lived with people. Come on, bro. You niggas is wife and chicks straight out of high school, bro. Straight out of high school living with their mamas for a couple months. Broom dirty as shit. Never knew how to wash dishes unless they told to. You niggas is wifing up kids. That's why I like old bitches. Shout out to 40-year-olds, bro, that's getting 19-year-old niggas with kids. Because you bitches my age ain't doing shit. Bitches can't even suck dick correctly, bro. And yet they want to move in. Come on, bro. We got to accept the unshared coochie while you over... Man, look, man, I'm about, to, I'm about to really start cooking, bro. I'm sorry. The more this camera is held in front of my face, the more I'm like, bro. Because I'm really sitting here... I'm sitting here thinking, bro, we really got to provide... Nigga... You got to make $250 to $300 a day to make 100 k a year, right? A regular job, you're probably making $100 a day. You're making like 25 to like 40 k a year, right? You sell dope on the side. You scam. You barely touch it 100 k So I'm telling you niggas that there's nothing to satisfy a woman unless you can show her that you just don't need her in your life. And you can just function without her. These hoes like gay niggas. These hoes like niggas, they, maybe he's gay. These hoes like niggas, they might question they gay because guess what? They like gay, the niggas that they don't, they don't want them. Chicks like niggas that don't want them. It's weird. And niggas like girls like that, that want them. Except the big ones, that's all. That's all. So I'm really cooking right now. I'm trying not to cook too hard because I don't want to take too long to upload. RMT back. Y'all see the name change. It went from, um, what the fuck was my name before? RMT... I don't know. Tampa Bay RT in a building, man. Fuck with me. Because see, this is the new me. This is the this is the better me. Where I can just whip out a camera and just start an 11 minute YouTube video. I gotta get my arm stripped up because see, I'm switching arms like a motherfucker. See, I don't jack off with my hand. Cause when you jack off with your hand, you 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 build uneven strength. I jack off telekinesically. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that in a future video. Make sure y'all drop in the comment. Um Drop a telekinesic masturbation video, and I'll show y'all how to do it. It's like, boom, I'll drop it on OnlyFans. Fuck it. Eat a dick. 
Yo, Charles Oliveira fighting in a couple weeks. That's my favorite fighter. W him. W UFC 300. Whack ass UFC Atlantic this weekend. Who gives a fuck about that? Literally, the only nigga I care fight and care about is the Vicente Luque, uh, Joaquin Buckley fight. And no, 